What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the Brony community once again. Except I want to talk about a big reason I got a lot of respect for them. I know I probably did that in the last time I talked about them. But I noticed a lot of videos have popped up this year where people brought up a shit ton of negatives that came from the Brony community. It traumatized people as children. And um, there's been a lot of problematic Bronies out there who've done some very bad things. Now... I don't remember a lot of their names because I think one was Acoustic Brony or something like that. Manda Pony, I don't remember. Uh, one of them, they're two different people, so I don't remember which one's which. But I do understand that there's going to be Bronies that are going to do bad things. Every community has its bad apple that's going to do something so unforgivable that it makes the community seem terrible. It's happened like that for the furry community, thanks to certain furries that have done some terribly terribly awful things um there's one that comes to mind and i don't remember his name but he had like a red fox persona if i'm correct i don't remember his name feel free to fill me in but he's very notorious for doing something bad and uh the furry community was starting to get a lot of praise when shane dawson first looked into him and then out of nowhere uh he pulled the shit he pulled and everyone was like nope that's fucking disgusting and everyone started to hate the furry community again and i notice i see a lot of people hating on the brony community for some terrible things that were done by the brony community now obviously let's let's talk about the most most uh popular one that comes to my mind uh my little pony r34 this one is something uh people are into some people aren't if you are, I'm good for you. I'm not one to judge. Um, because everybody's into what they are into, right? Obviously, I've played games of My Little Pony R34. I've played uh, Band Forever, which is the Halloween version of Band from Equestria. I've played Wrapped in Pink. And I eventually plan on playing Band from Equestria later on next year. But... Do I really, like, enjoy those games? Do I think they're great? Do I think that... I think they deserve to uh, be known so much as what they are? Um, personally, I don't. I don't think the games are that great. I just look at it as a basic animated porn game, which there's many of those upon the internet. Many, many of those. But I don't care about it like that. I mainly record it and upload it because, one, people seem to enjoy when I make content on them because some people seem to enjoy the reactions I have to the games. Some people seem to enjoy the games themselves, which, by the way, once again, if you do, I'm not one to judge for people liking and disliking something, even if it comes off as a little strange. That's personally on you, and I respect you regardless of if you like it or don't. As long as you're not doing something terribly illegal to the point where you should be put in jail and you still have res like you're able to be respected then I don't mind what you're into or what you're not into now the reason I play those games obviously is one people seem to like it too it does get views on my channel and I got to do whatever it takes to try to put my channel out there and even though I've mentioned in the past I don't really care about views so if I have a video that doesn't blow up I'm not going to get upset and be like, oh, it only got two views, it's whatever. I mean, I uploaded a reaction to Enduratize by Softend, and it has three views right now, and that was uploaded two weeks ago. I don't really mind that. The views will come slowly throughout time, and that's just how YouTube works. Videos grow slowly throughout time if you're a smaller YouTuber, meaning views don't matter to me because I know in time my channel will get more and more, and it's just going to continue as long as I upload now another thing I noticed is the animations there's I've seen people complain about this now I don't I think it's a bit of a stretch right I think it's a bit of a stretch to be upset about this unless you're a child who came across this and you got traumatized now if you're a little kid and something like this scared you I do apologize just want you to know not all bronies are into like gore not all bronies are into like terrifying creepy pasta esque shit but i do i do think some of it is cool some of the animations are great and some of the things that came from the community are fantastic 
For example, Rainbow Factory is very iconic to me because it's so popular and it really reached out when it first came out. I remember playing Roblox games about it. I remember playing fan games about Rainbow Factory. And I think it's a very cool creepypasta. Is it dark? Yes. Uh, and it's just how it is. Not only that, the song for Rainbow Factory is an actual bop. But I do know there have been people who've seen things like Cupcakes HD or Smile HD or these other animations where it contained um, stuff not meant for children to witness. I think some of that stuff is cool. I do think it's also subjective. If you're into gore or you're into like brutal animations or you're, you're just into it for the shock factor, I think it's cool for those reasons. But I do understand if you're not into it. Obviously, you have to keep in mind, not everybody within the Brony community is going to be the same. There's going to be one person who does something different from another that causes the Brony community to be filled with a variety of different things. For example, the My Little Pony porn games, My Little Pony R34, this and that. If you're into that shit, good for you. Once again, for the millionth time... I do not judge whatsoever if you are into that or you're not into that. That is on you. Second of all, when it comes to the, the gore, when it comes to animations, when it comes to that, there's so many different types of animations. It's not just stuff like Cupcakes HD. It's not just stuff like Smile HD. I've seen, uh, I think it's Snowdrop. It's an adorable animation. I've seen... Um, Twi-Dash Hearts and Hooves, which is a little cute, maybe a little bit more on uh, Kissy Kissy side, but I do think it was cute when I first saw it. Um, there's some really funny animations, there's some really, really heartwarming animations, there's some amazing songs that come from the Brony community, like Awoken is my favorite, even though it has to do with some creepy stuff. I do think Awoken is my favorite song that came from the Brony community, other than Discord, but once again... When it comes to the Brony community, everybody's different. Everybody has their differences that shows that they are different from one another and they're going to do different things. Some people are going to be interested in creating videos where it has shock factor to it. And you're going to view it and be like, oh my god, that's brutal, that's disgusting, holy shit. It's going to be like that. It's always going to be like that. But then you got people who are making animations that are cute, adorable. You got people that are making games now, there's a lot of people that make creepypasta games that scare the actual fuck out of me. Like, um, for example, this. Oh, my mouse! I'm not touching my mouse! What the fuck? That's right. You saw that. Honestly, that scared the shit out of me when I first played it. And... There's even other games that are just adorable and fun to play. And then, of course, you got the 18-plus game creators, and uh, we don't talk about them. <laughs> we don't talk about them. I've already played a few on the channel, and obviously more will come in the future. But I always age-restrict those videos because, I don't know, just the adult audience prefers to watch them. And it's something that helps put my channel on the map. So anyway, this was another video talking about the Brony community. Obviously, as a Brony, I want everyone out there to know who isn't a Brony that the Brony is going to be filled with many different things. Things that you're going to like and things you're going to dislike. It's like that for every community. Everybody's different. Everybody does different things. But just because there's a few bad apples doesn't mean that the community is the most terrible thing. Sure, is there a lot of cringe within the community? Yes. I will not deny it. Yes, there is a lot of cringe that comes from the Brony community. And even though some people may be like, well, well you're a 22-year-old guy who's into My Little Pony. First of all, I like My Little Pony because I think it's cute. I'm allowed to like things if I think it's adorable or cute. And not only that, the character designs are really well made. And I just think it's not really that bad. That's how I was able to be into it for so long. And a lot of the friends that I made along the way who were into the Brony community have prevented me from doing things that I shouldn't have because back then I went through abuse. I was suicidal and there was times I was going to take my life away. A lot of my friends prevented that and I met them through the Brony community. So yeah, I understand that a lot of people have been through hell when it comes to the Brony community, coming across things they don't want to see. If that's the case, I'm terribly sorry. 
But I want you to know not every brony is like that. And every time you come across something in the brony community, it's going to be different unless you're actively seeking out something that you don't want to see. Obviously, the YouTube, um, the YouTube, uh, fuck, I don't remember what it's called, but whenever you watch something, it recommends similar videos, right? Obviously, if you watch something scary, there's something going to be scary else popping up. But just try to seek out the positives in the brony community, and it's not nearly as bad as you'd expect. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. And that's all I really got to say. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Talk this in life, I'm just too alive. I got two eyes in the back of my head. I'm watching everything you're doing instead of being here with me. Being here with me. I gotta sit you twice, so you know I ain't scared of it. I can give a fuck about it.